Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your next 48 hours, okay? So, um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you guys are returning to my channel, I welcome you back. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright like a diamond. All right, my darling. So, let's get into a prayer for the ones that are new here. Where prayer is a must on the channel. So, we'll get into prayer. Tap into your energy and pull in the next 48 hours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Okay, so Aries, for your next 48 hours, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. It may. And then again, it may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest it could pull in your person whether it's a past a present or a future person okay place them where you need to place them cross watchers please do the absolute same as well the same applies for you guys as well the rules could be reversed now if you also do need to have a personal reading with me personal reading is available here on the channel um, all you have to do is um, check in the description of the video to see how to connect with me for a personal reading. Okay, you guys? Just be sure that you are using the information that I really did provide for you because there's someone over there on the IG that is pretending to be me. I will not contact you for a personal reading. Neither will I ask you for a donation. Okay? I will not do that. That's not me, you guys. Okay? Alright, let's see what your challenge is for the next 48 hours. And again, take what's yours and leave the rest. Send it back to the universe where it came from. Don't force your read, you guys. You will know if it's for you. All right. What is the next 48? What is the challenge? What is the challenge for the next 48 hours for Aries at this time? Okay. So, your challenge tonight... Your challenge is your creative self, your integrity, okay? I do feel for some of you here, um, you're either dealing with some kind of a, a obstacle or some kind of a problem here, but I do feel like your biggest challenge right now is to solve these problems or to um, clarify these obstacles that you may presently be facing right now. I do feel also um, that these problems are one that you may have been trying to clarify for some time. Um, I do see these challenges as being a huge obstacle, something that you've been trying to release, just the energy. Um, and there definitely be some kind of a conflict here. What you didn't see in the back of the deck was purification. All right. Um, I do feel like it's definitely time that you start really cleansing your energy and cleansing your space and not only doing that, but protecting it as well. Um, just know for certain who you really um, allow in your space is what I'm hearing, you guys, for some of you. Um, I do feel like, you know, not everyone that says they're a friend is a friend. Not oh, they people hide really well. This is what I'm hearing for some of you guys. Um, your situation is definitely calling for something new. For sure, okay? All right, so let's get an angel here, you guys. Okay? And this angel that's coming through was, is the angel that will assist me with this next 48 hours, okay? You could also um, take this angel for yourself, place it on white paper or parchment, put it on your pillow while you guys sleep. All right, so this is the angel of happiness. Okay, so the angels of happiness is the 15th angel in line you guys okay wow someone deserves to be happy you deserve to be happy is what i'm hearing your next 48 hours is saying that in order to achieve this happiness you definitely have to uh, make a harsh choice here for some of you the choice is kind of a bittersweet type of a situation but i'm hearing that it's really needed for some of you um, I do feel like there's also someone that might be attached or might have been attached to you that 
you know, for some of you, you know, within a shadow of a doubt that this person doesn't deserve to be even in the same room as you are. But for some odd reason, you find yourself going in the reverse. Um, I do feel like, you know, there's something that is either distracting judgment here. Maybe you have some kind of a tie with this person. Um, it could be a physical one or for some of you, it could be an emotional tie. Maybe this person was there at one point in your life where you felt like you might have needed this person. But then again, I'm hearing um, growth here, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's see what's coming through these messages. And again, you guys, for your next 48 hours, take what's yours, leave the absolute rest. And again, the roles could be reversed, okay? All right, angels, what's the message here, please? What's that I need to share at this time for Aries? What is it that I need to share at this time for Aries? What's the message, please? Aries at this time. All right, some of you guys, I'm getting this passage here. Okay, now this passage is have, having me feel like, um, for some of you, this passage feels very narrow. Um, you either feel like you're being closed in or being closed off here. Um, I'm feeling some kind of a darkness that you may be feeling in your life right now, going through this passage, going through this time of trouble. Um, I don't, but I do feel like if this is not you right here that is rebelling, then this is what is connecting to you that is rebelling, that is causing or calling in this darkness, this passage that is feeling, having you feeling like you're closed off. And again, your happiness is here, okay? And again, just to remind you, it was the angels of happiness that they, that came through. So this is your confirmation. Thank you, Jesus, okay? All right, so... Whatever is coming in as being rebellious or rebelling, it is really not sitting right with you at this moment. Um, someone is either showing some kind of a clingy behavior here. Okay. And I do feel this clingy behavior as one that is being, it really feels very toxic, you guys. Okay. It really feels very toxic. It really feels snakeified. Okay. That's how it feels. Um, but I do feel like this person is either a work in progress here or this is how they see you being a work in progress. Now, I feel like this person might have made uh, many different promises is what I'm seeing here. Um, but for some of you guys, it either feels at this point because you've heard it so many times already. It, it really, you know, it really sounds like the same old story over and over and over again. Now, this could be you that is reminiscent here or this could be them. Okay, um, for some of you, you know, even when you guys may be in separation, you keep reminiscing about this person. And this is what is putting this person of energy back to you, or this could be them. But the signs here, my darlings, are is warning you. Okay, there's signs here that you've been seeing um, about this entire situation, and the, the real matter here is that there is a, um, definitely some secrets that's coming in. The secrets are telling me that you're going to find some things out. Whatever these secrets are that this person may be hiding or what's been hidden in the dark because someone is definitely going through a passage here that feels very hollow and very dark. I do see some kind of a breakthrough that is coming in. So whatever clarity that you may be trying to find out or whatever answers that you may be seeking, I'm hearing that those answers are coming to the clear, okay? Um, whatever that been hidden or someone feels that this has been hiding very well, something is going to be shown. Something is coming to light. Your next 48 hours is telling me divine intervention is coming through here. All right. What is this? All right. So I'm getting this union here. All right. So this could be a marriage, something about a marriage here, but there's also seduction that is coming to this marriage. Now, if this person is... If this person is married to you or if you feel like you're in something that are committed here that feels like a marriage, there's something that is in, attached to this union that is bringing in the energy of seduction, okay? So someone may be still looking or searching or lurking or wanting to see what else is out there, okay? On the low, a secret, okay? This is a secret that you should know about. This person may be struggling with the secret. Who knows? It's a it's addiction that you might have. Well, obviously you don't know anything about this this addiction, right? But I do feel like your intuition is telling you that something is off here. Um, this person is struggling with some kind of a um 
very mental addiction here and this they've been doing this for some time this is what i'm seeing can't get it out of their system out of their veins okay all right let's see let's clarify these messages please at this time here let's clear i love this this deck you guys but let's just say it is all it's it's dented you guys but i love this deck you ever had a deck where you just resonate with the deck and you just don't want to let it go even though it's falling apart but sometimes we have to let things go and i, I think it's about time that i must let this deck go okay all right let's see sometimes we just have to let things go even though we're attached to a situation we just have to to release it right because soon it's not serving me any purpose right so it, it's it's not bringing me the happiness that I need because I'm struggling. It's a struggle to shuffle. It's just like some of y'all, you know, your life is a struggle and you're still holding on to a situation that doesn't need it to be holding on to, like I'm holding on to this deck here. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse and then we do have the Eight, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, so I do feel like, you know, whatever is happening with your connection here, I'm really feeling like someone has either, has either left, made a decision to leave, left, or whatever. Uh, they might have left the relationship already with this Eight of Cups here. Okay? Um, I feel like whatever that mean, had been left behind, someone definitely felt like the, the calling was the time, and the time was the calling. Okay, um, I do feel like even if this person left, or this could have been you that walked away from the relationship, I do see some kind of a manifestation that is coming in. Um, I'm seeing money coming in for some of you guys. This is what I'm seeing here with this Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing growth for the next 48 hours. I'm also feeling like you're putting in the odd work or this was what's required of you for your next 48 for clarity. The Nine of Pentacles is also the tower in the reverse. So whatever is going on here... I do feel like, you know, with the tower being here, the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups in the reverse, someone definitely left and someone might have needed to leave because there was change that was needed here. Um, I do feel like, again, clarification again with the tower being here and the eight of cups over here, there's a feeling where someone did definitely left. And, and not only someone left, but I feel like someone maybe had gotten ghosted here. Okay. Um, someone just decided to kind of leave without any kind of a clarity. Yeah, someone definitely moved on here. The Three of Pentacles, um, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're about to plant some seeds here. Um, something is changing. Something is changing very fast. But I do see movement that is also needed here. Um, I'm hearing happiness that's coming through. I'm hearing you're going to get the closure that you need. Um, whatever it is that you need to resonate to with the world being here, I do see something good coming from what you are about to fall into. Which is total happiness and good luck and prosperity. Um, but of course, you're still holding on to an issue here. You're holding on to an issue because we have the Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords tell me that you need to let go. Just let go of what you may be holding on to because it doesn't serve you any, any more good. Um, I do feel like someone has forgotten their purpose here because the temperance is also here. The time is just not right to even give this situation any more energy because you've already done that. Um, I feel like someone is either thinking about moving away or dealing with something that's long distance. This could be something that feels like a long distance. Even if this person is not all the way over there, but it feels like that at this point um, where someone is far away. Their energy is either far away or this could be you with the three of ones here. But the decision has to be made and has to be confirmed. But for some of you, I do feel like this decision won't be made or won't be set because faith has been lost. Faith has definitely been lost here. What is the next 48? Please clarify, please. What's the next 48 hours? What's the next 48 hours, please? Please clarify these messages. Okay. Now there's one that's here. Okay, let's see what that is. The Nine of Swords. All right. So you guys might have lost communication. This is what I'm seeing with this Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, the Three of Swords. Oh, so there's a third party situation that is coming in. And not only is you, are you dealing with the third party, we have the Lovers here as well. The Lovers card. 
the three, the, the three of swords and the knight of swords. So this third party situation has definitely put a damper into your connection with this person. Um, I do feel like, you know, this was something that was very unexpected for some of you guys. Um, I also feel like these conflicts are coming through very strongly to the point where someone is either dealing with a very strict energy. I feel like this person comes towards you with a lot of drama and things that doesn't serve you. But someone is trying to get away from a situation. This could be you or this could have been them. Someone might have left when things got hard. Someone might have left when you needed them the most. Um, it, it just could be a feeling where this person just wasn't there. Someone just wasn't there. Um, because they chose not to be there. I do feel like it's time that you make peace with the situation here with the two of swords in the reverse. Um, I feel like you've definitely, um, invested all that you can already as is, but you're dealing with a person who is very manipulative, very manipulative. Okay. At times this person could be cold because we have the, the king of wands in the reverse. So this could be a very cold energy at time. They could be really cold, cold as an Alaska um weather okay um i also feel like you're going to be making peace for some of you may have find your peace already but i see this person coming back so this person may want to come back to you this knight of wands um yeah they want to come back yeah whatever they want to come back for they are still thinking about thinking about coming back um it could be a conversation that is coming in it could be just an apology but they're still fighting okay um, the seven of wands, this, there's a still a struggle. There's a still, still a struggle. They're still trying to find themselves here. Um, so that way they don't come towards you with any drama, any baggages. But see, you're already carrying a lot of that baggage already as is the ten of wands, y'all. Okay, you're already carrying that already. Feeling very overwhelmed and very overworked and very overstressed. But see, for some of you, even though you felt this way, you were still investing into it. It was still giving this a lot of energy, but something decided to go on pause. Someone put a situation on pause. Your next 48 hours is telling me that's time that you free yourself. Because this person stays in their feeling, you have to free yourself. It, it, there's no need to wait anymore. The four of pentacles in the reverse. There's no more waiting game. The waiting game is over, even though they're insistent of coming back. Your situation is coming back, right? They want to come back. They want to return to you. Um, I do feel like there's still feelings here with this person. Um, I feel like the feelings will be mutual, but just you have to be sure that this person is whatever they're coming in with is with is something that could be set in stone, okay? Um, because this person is still fighting a battle with the seven of wands also being here. There's a battle that they're still struggling with. I do feel that that they're very stuck right now. Um, they have not learned much of anything. Um, but this, this wheel of fortune, I do feel like there's luck that is coming in. So something is changing. Something is happening. Um, so it could be invested into something. Yeah. The queen of cups, you're invested into something here. You're manifesting something. You're being committed to something. Um, it could be something very spiritual for some of you. The two of wands in the reverse. Yeah. Not, this person is not taking the offer. This could be you. But at this point with the earth font being here, you have to trust your intuition, you guys. Okay. Because you have to make peace. Peace is needed. You have to make peace with the situation um, because it's needed more than ever um, moving forward, okay? And now the decision is yours. Just know that at the end of the day, your happiness is what matters. And just saying that happiness is it should be your main priority right now. If it brings you tears, it has to be happy tears, you guys, okay? That's going to be your next 48 hours, my darlings, and I hope it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel again if you have not done so already. Also, if you do need to have a prayer request, feel free to let me know down in the comment section that you need one. Um, also, my darlings, I'm asking that you pray for me as I'm also praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you'll always find. Bye, guys. Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to your channel, honey. It is always such a blessing to have you guys back here. This is going to be your next 24 hours, you guys, okay? All right, so just know that you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright like a diamond. My cards has been shuffled and blessed already. However, I am going to get into a quick pray because we do pray here on the channel. For the ones that are new and for the ones that are returning, just know that I love you guys so, 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 so much. For all my day ones, 
I love you guys um, to the moon and star. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you show. Thank you for the continual support of thumbs up that you show on your reads. You are appreciated. All right, you guys, let's get into a prayer. Tap into your energy and pull in the next 24 hours. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, for the next 24 hours, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. Send it back to universe, honey, because that's where it came from. Cross watchers, please do the same. Place your person where you need to place them, past, present, or future, and also your placements, okay? Now, if you're looking for a personal reading, personal reading is available on the channel. It's very easy to connect with me. Just check the, in the information down in the description of this video and you'll see how to connect with me for a personal reading, okay? Just know that I will not contact you for a personal reading. Neither will I ask you for any donations. That's not me. Those are the scammers, okay? All right, my darlings, let's see what your challenge is. And you guys, I will be going live pretty often here on the, on the channel. But I will only be going live for channel members only. So you might want to go ahead and hit that join down below. It is only $4.99 each month. And you can cancel at any time. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's see what your channel is for the next 24 hours. Now, right after this 24, we will get into your next 12. So stay tuned for that. Okay. It will be right after this one. All right. Angels, what's the next 24? What's the challenge here, please? What is the challenge? What is the challenge for Aries at this time? What's the challenge for Aries at this time? What is the next 24 hours? What's the challenge? Okay, so your challenge right now for the next 24 hours is peace, okay? You're trying to find peace based on what you are dealing with right now, okay? The next 24 hours is telling me it's time that you um, gravitate to the peace that you need, all right? There may be a situation around you that's a circling your circumstances that it feels like it's such a damn burden. You feel like you don't know where you're going. It's like something is just trying to pull you back every time you make 10 steps forward. You feel like you're going 10 steps backward. Something is just putting in the energy where you're not able to find the peace that you need here. Peace is what you need in order to be fulfilled with what your heart is desiring right now. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whatever it is trying to pull into your energy, that is good. Um, what you didn't see on the back of the deck here is your success. So this peace that you're trying to find, it really does resonate with your financial part of your life. For some of you, your money's just not adding up right. You're either not happy on your job situation or you either feel like, um, you know, the more money you make, the more your bills are piling up. Or for some of you, the more money you make, you still find yourself being late on those bills. And for some of you, you just feel like you want to throw all those bills in the tub and start swimming. Your success is in question here, but the peace that you need is right now in order for you to to ordain and to pull this in where your life will go much better for some of you have responsibility you have a car note you have a house note you have rent you know you have children that is dependent on you you have responsibility and things is just not flowing accordingly right now all right let's see what's happening here for your next 24 okay all right angels what is it that i need to share what is it that I need to share with Aries at this time? Next 24 hours, please. What is it that I need to share with Aries? The next 24, please. Next 24. What's the next 24? Okay. So the next 24 hours is telling me that this is time that you start um, to reconsider taking a new direction here. A new direction is what you need here. All right. Um, just to say this, to say that um, whatever direction or path that you're on right now, um, it has to be a spiritual path. This is what I'm hearing to tell you. OK, 
it has to be a spiritual path here because you're on a path right now where you're not choosing or wisely. Uh, I do feel like there's something that is tapping into the energy and it's really putting a damper onto the opportunities that is coming in towards you. Something is falling short here. Now, Angels is saying that um, it's just not the right time to think about things that doesn't pull in any positivity as far as where you need to be in your life here. Um, there's definitely things that's kind of distracting your judgment here. Um, it's time that you start praying more than you normally should or did. Okay, just start manifesting what you really need. Meditation does bring answers here. Look for a sign here, but for some of you, you're not using your intuition because that showed in the reverse. Now, what also showed in the reverse is that you are ready, but you, some of you are just not ready for what you're about to hear. Okay, you don't want, it's like, it's like you're searching for answers, you're searching for clarity, but when you get the answers and you, it doesn't, you, you don't, you're not happy with the answers that you get. So it puts you in a very darker place than you already are because you want to hear what you want to hear. But angels are saying that's not the case here. You have to get the clarity that you need in order to make your decision and having it set, you guys, okay? Because whatever it is that you want to know, <laughs> it's not going to make things clearer if you don't re re kind of resonate to what it is that you really need in your life right now, which is making yourself a happier person, okay? Your happiness matters, okay? Um, but it's time that you walk away from things that you know for sure that is not bringing you any success at all. This is what I'm seeing, all right? I'm hearing there's something better for you. Okay, there's definitely something better for you and whatever it is that you might have been questioning yourself about, are you on the right path? Angel is saying that you are. You are on the right path, but you're distracted. You're distracted. I've seen a lot of, dis a lot of distraction around you. A lot of distraction. Um, if you believe that things will change, it will change, but it's time that you take time out and rest and wait. Okay, get more information about what it is that you're really truly searching for. Um, and what you really need. So that way you don't bump in between a rock and a hard place. There's a big happy change that's coming in, but you don't need to worry about whatever it is that's affecting your judgment, okay? Let it go. Let it go and let God. Things are going to be changing for you. Helpful people are coming in to help you and to resonate with what you are going through. For some of you, you may have an addiction as well. Um, for some of you, you have people around you that is suffering from addictions. I'm seeing recovery happen in here. I'm seeing you getting the help that you need. I'm hearing, yes, help is on the way. This is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing compressed, com um, compromise here. That is telling me that something about that is changing within the next few months. Okay. Few months has given me your health. Your health need also improvement here. Be careful what you put in your body. Okay. Um, your success is changing as well. And when that's coming in, it's coming in at a rapid place. Now, I'm hearing within a year from now, your bills are all been paid up. Everything that you've been kind of working on um, that you feel like it's not really flowing right, all of that is going away. Within a year from now, um, you're going to see growth. You're going to see happiness. You're going to see um, your love life improving, your family situations improving. Your job situation, everything is changed, will be changing within a year. But there's work that you need to put in. And the work that you need to put in is meditating. Meditation, okay? That's going to bring you the answers that you need in order to make right decisions, positive decisions for yourself. All right, so what is the next 24? Please clarify these messages, please, at this time for Aries, please. Please clarify these messages at this time for Aries, please. Please clarify these messages at this time for Aries, please. Angels, please clarify these messages at this time for Aries. Okay. All right, so we have, <laughs> we have the seven of cups in the reverse. Wow. Somebody's busy, busy sleeping with other people here. Now, are not only do you have someone who's connected to you um, here, um, 
that's wearing their options, but this person is sleeping with many people. Somebody's sleeping with many people here. I'm hearing deception. You have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So you're dealing with deception here. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, right at this point, it's like bad faith here. Um, because this person is really pulling in the energy. So th this is where your money is not going right. Okay. Things are just not flowing right for some of you guys here at all. Because you're dealing with someone that's also messing up your energy. The two of cups. This person may be your soulmate, but for some of you guys, you're going to have to release. And it's come, it keeps coming back, you guys. It keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. But Angel said that what you need here is peace. This is what you need. This is what you need. This is what you need right here, peace. But I do feel like this Two of Cups is putting a pressure into the relationship. This, this person might have ended something here. Um, or this could be you or this could be both. The feeling might have been mutual when the two soulmates decided to kind of drift. But someone is sleeping with other people here. Like more than just one. Money's just not going right. Money's not going right here at all. There's a lot of sadness that's coming in. The page of pentacles in the reverse. Manipulation. This this uh, soul made soul tie type of a two of cups here is giving me manipulation and, and sad news here. You might have heard something, found something out. Um, you might have seen something for some of you here. Some kind of expectation that kind of fell flat with this person. What is the next twenty four? The next twenty four is a page of swords. A page of swords, the ace of swords. So something new is happening here. Something is going to change, you guys, okay? But the thing is, it has to be attached to communication because communication is, is the key of your situation, what you're dealing with right now, okay? Um, at this time, sometimes you don't know if this two of cups hate you or if they love you or whatever is going on in their head. You just don't know. But all you need is someone to love you. You're looking for someone to love you, but someone needs to wear their crown in this entire situation here. Someone might have forgotten to wear their crown here with this page of swords. is just pretty young energy that's constantly causing problems. They want to talk, though. They want to talk. But what is it they don't want to talk about? The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Trickery. Okay? This person is very tricky. Um, this person could be a fraud, too. Okay? Um... I'll say don't trust this, this situation at this point, okay? This is what I'm seeing. This is how I feel for your next 24. I'm feeling, listen, listen. It's time that you separate yourself from all of this drama that you're going through in your life. The next 24 hours is saying it's time that you find a place of peace. It's time that you find a place of happiness, okay? Because your success is in question here. Um, you're the nine of pentacles in the reverse. This is all your financial security and your stability here. Something is just not going right. And it's because you're attached to a soul tie person. And the soul tie person is not on the same level of discernment as you are at this time. So you're going to have to find a way to ease away from that. So that way you could ease into your happiness. Ease into your power. Ease into your dignity. Ease into your glory and know that you have to communicate with this person. Whether you want to communicate or not, you have to communicate clearly to let this person know your boundaries. You're setting boundaries for their ass, okay? It's what you're doing, period. Okay? If they don't want to hear it, well, honey, text it. They'll read it, okay? Email it. Do something. But there's boundaries. Boundaries are going to have to set here with this entire situation in order for you to gravitate to the happiness that you you need at this point okay this is going to be your next 24 hours um we're going to jump right into your next 12 your next 12 will definitely be a uh love read um let's do a career on that one too so we're going to combine the two for that love for that read of the next 12 so stay tuned for that be sure that you have your post notification on so you know when those videos drop and my darlings if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simply by leaving your initials in the comment section. Also, pray for me as I'm praying for you. Don't forget to thumbs up the reason on your way out because it does help the channel to grow. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, always remember to seek first when you always find. Bye, guys.